Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Neil Williams, and I'm a senior lecturer in exercise physiology and nutrition. The human microbiome is vast, if you like. Uh, we all harbour our own microbiota, and they're found all throughout the body. Um, so we find these little microbes, these bugs, in the gut, um, the respiratory tract, on our skin, uh, and they play a significant part in terms of making us who we are. And so yeah, there's a broad sort of range of, of roles that they have. So probiotics are live microorganisms, which when we ingest them, hopefully they will survive transit down to the gut and then they will colonize and have an impact upon the microbial community that is in the gut. A prebiotic, on the other hand, is essentially like a fertilizer. They will increase the growth and activity of good bacteria that is already in the gut. Hopefully that will then confer a health benefit to the individual. So we know now that individuals and elite level athletes have different gut microbial compositions. It's different to maybe a sedentary individual. Athletes don't necessarily get more ill, if you like, compared to the, the general public. They don't necessarily have more episodes of cold and flu and, and gastrointestinal illness. But what we do know is that they are maybe at greater risk during very important periods of, of the training calendar. So if there is a sudden increase in training load, maybe they're traveling to competition. So these sort of pinch points, this is when we seem to see clumping of illnesses, if you like. So we wanted to try and carry out a study to establish whether feeding the bugs in the gut through a prebiotic could have a significant impact on lowering these self-reported symptoms of, of illness during a competitive season. We worked directly with a premiership rugby union team and we had 33 elite rugby union players. We randomised them to one of two groups based on playing position and body size and for 24 weeks um, those two groups of players would receive either the prebiotics of the bimunogalacto oligosaccharide product uh, once a day or a placebo maltodextrin uh, supplement and they were blinded, uh, identical in terms of taste and sight so um, it was a, a well controlled study. Over the course of the 24 weeks we were collecting daily upper respiratory symptoms and then weekly gastrointestinal symptoms and then at baseline week 12 and also week 24, we took blood samples and saliva samples for biomarkers of, of immune function in, in the rugby union players as well. Over those 24 weeks, what we found was that the group of players who had received the, the prebiotic supplement, if they were reporting a cold or flu-like episode, um, the duration of that episode was shorter by two days compared to the placebo group. And then over the 24 weeks in terms of gastrointestinal symptoms, there were fewer days of symptoms being reported. So the total number of days where an athlete maybe is reporting um, discomfort in the gut, um, that was reduced compared to the placebo group. One of the interesting findings from a more sort of mechanistic perspective, I suppose, was that over those 24 weeks, what we found was in the prebiotic group, we had better maintenance or almost a slight increase in the secretion rate of salivary IgA. And this essentially is a biomarker of the first line of defense um, of the body in terms of its ability to maybe fight um, exposure to say a cold virus or something like that. So that might be one of the reasons why our athletes in the prebiotic group were reporting less cold and flu-like symptoms. I think what we're not doing with a prebiotic is we're not putting up an impenetrable force field, but what we're doing is we're improving their tolerance, we're improving the body's ability to fight that infection. And so that these athletes can tolerate cold and flu type symptoms, it hopefully then leads to them being able to maintain better training status or return to training and competition sooner than if they hadn't received the prebiotic. It's exciting to be part of this burgeoning and growing interest. You know, if we think of the gut microbiota in terms of its composition, it's, it's this really sort of unique developed ecosystem that lives in our gut. And it's highly diverse and plays a very significant impact on, on a, a range of bodily systems that are gonna impact our athletes' ability to stay healthy and perform. So if we can try and harness the power of the gut microbiota 
through dietary practices, um, then, then I think that's something that's very exciting.